coming up on this edition of Able Den On Air, part two of Accessible Camps on People with Disabilities, and our Summer Camp Edition, part two. All that and much more when Able Den On Air starts right Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Able Den On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've, I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. On this edition of Able Den On Air, we focus on part two of accessible camps and um, accessible camping for people with disabilities. And this is our second part of our summer camp edition. Um, so let's begin. Uh, our partners in this is Orca Media, the Association for the Blind Vermont, the um, the um, Division for the Blind Vermont, and many, many, many others. So this uh, this information is coming from um, www. Part of this information is coming from www. opwdd. <clears throat> .ny.gov. This is www.opwdd.ny.gov. The Office of uh, Developmental Disabilities, um, of people with developmental disabilities um, in New York, which is a big um, agency, and I can go over some of the services that they um, offer. Um, so up top here, there are... Uh, bars like access support types of services, community involvement, providers, regula uh, regulations and guidance, um, so on and so forth, uh, in, in this particular uh, website. Let me, let me go down the search bar. Uh, <clears throat> let me go down here. Okay, so this particular camp, Camp Wilton. Uh, this Camp Wilton is a, res is a residential summer camp operated by OPWDD, the Office of uh, People with Disabilities, uh, <clears throat> which serves approximately 550 people with developmental disabilities from all across New York State. 
One special week of the program is dedicated to those who have Prader-Willie Syndrome. Prader-Willie Syndrome uh, is an eating disorder. I can go over that um, at some point. Um, Prader-Willie Syndrome uh, campers come from all over New York State. The program consists of typical camp activities such as arts and crafts, swimming, recreation, music, drama, and various evening activities. The program operates for nine weeks. The 2024 season runs from June 10th through August 9th. Uh, the first week is dedicated <clears throat> to staff orientation, training, and program planning. Beginning on the second week, um, eight weeks, eight separate and one week sessions for campers are held. Camp Wilton information, uh, this is important for those that want to come to this camp. Uh, we try to make the camp experience accessible and enjoyable for everyone. Uh, every attempt is made to accommodate everyone's physical, social, dietary, and other needs. Please apply for individuals who do you think will benefit from this camp experience. Campers must be older than 18. I will repeat again. Campers must be older than 18 to attend. You can't be younger than 18. Um, campers come from all, New York, all over New York State and live in home, family care homes, supervised apartments, uh, group homes, intermediate care facilities. So, if you live in the following type of facilities, campers must be from all over New York State and live at home, family care homes, supervised apartments, group homes, and intermediate care facilities. Services that are provided. Um, persons with developmental disabilities who are exploring Camp Wilton as a vacation opportunity should take into consideration what services they may require and are advised uh, um, of the camp as follows. Okay, so um, this is important information that I'm going to be giving. Um, camp Wilton has paved walkways and four cabins that are fully accessible. All eight cabins are ramped and all other buildings are accessible. Our cabins are not, are not air conditioned and have very limited air conditioned space on the grounds. If the individual has temperature restrictions for 90 degrees or above, we will not be able to accept the camper. Um, so the camp operates three vehicles, 12 to 15 um, passenger vans, uh, uh, eight passenger an eight passenger van and a car with and a wheelchair van. The wheelchair van is accessible at all times for emergencies. Adaptive equipment is not provided. The camper must bring all equipment that they must, that may they may need. Um, so you have to bring all your equipment, um, wheelchair stuff like that. Um, behavior plans and risk management plans are reviewed before acceptance to the camp in order to determine the person's needs can be met. We do not, <clears throat> we do not, the camp does not, camp, camp, camp Wilton does not provide one-on-one -on -one staffing for campers and, and any individual that requires one-on-one -on -one staffing, staffing will not be able to attend. And um, they promote they promote trained staff, and trained staff is available. Um, <clears throat> medical nurses are on staff twenty four hours a day, with on call nurses also available. Emergency services are contacted through nine one one to the nearest hospital, and within twenty minutes, any prospective camper who requires specialized nursing services, which may include 
insulin injections if you are diabetic, oxygen machines, etc., should contact the nursing coordinator to determine the needs that can be met. Qualified personnel are on duty to provide medications administration. We are unable to support campers that require 24-hour-a-day 24, 24, um, oxygen or who receive nutrition via tube. Consistency, modified meals, uh, and nutrition modified meals are available. <clears throat> the campers must bring their own adaptive equipment if needed. Nighttime accommodations and safety. Sleeping accommodations are bunk beds only. Um, the camp does not provide bed rails, water beds, hospital beds. Um, there are no bed shakers or strobe lights. Strobe lights are for people who are epileptic. <clears throat> if you have uh, epilepsy problems and so on. There are three awake staff for the entire camp and minimum of two asleep staff in each cabin. Bed checks cannot be provided more frequent than 60 minutes, and there are bathing facilities. Um, wheelchair accessible showers are available in four cabins. Regular showers are available in other cabins. There are no tubs available. Camp activities. Um, campers are given the opportunity <clears throat> to participate in a, in a variety of activities, including swimming, arts and crafts, music and drama, recreational activities, and various, event <clears throat> various evening events. Counselors create fun, uh, exciting programs. Every, every summer and modify activities to the capability of each camper. The camp has a large in-ground pool with steps to enter the shallow end. Two certified lifeguards are on duty during swimming activities. For accessibility, they, uh, <clears throat> there is a lift to transfer campers to the pool. There's also a pool alarm and a pool fence is always locked when guards are not on duty. Swimming, a swimming permission form is included in the application to be completed by a parent or guardian. Campers are assessed prior to swimming activities by our Red Cross certified lifeguards. Um, and there's an application here. Um, you can't uh, do the camp unless you have uh, uh, complete information. For more information on Camp Wilton, you can contact camp.wilton at opwdd.newyork.gov. That's camp.wilton at opwdd.newyork.gov. Or call 518-581-3006. That's 581-3007-518-581-3007. Um, and if you are applying to be staff, they need camp counselors, food service workers, nurses or LPNs, maintenance assistants, dietit two dietitians. Um, you know, so there's a list here on how to apply to work for Camp Wilton. Um, applications can be mailed to Capital District DDSO, 500 Baldwin Road, Schenectady, New York, 12304, Attention Camp Wilton, or fax 518-317-1500. Um, I mean, sorry, 7536, 518- Three, three, sorry, 518-370-7536, um, 370-7536. Um, and then the, now, uh, they have staff calendar, camper schedule, 
which I might want to go over. This is important. The camper schedule <clears throat> goes as follows. Um, June 24th to 28th, adults with little or no support is allowed at camp. July 1 to 5, adults with moderate need of support. Um, July 8 to 12 is senior week. Um, July 15th to 19th is adults with moderate need support. Um, July 22 to 26, adults with Prader Willie syndrome, PWS. Um, July 29th to August 2nd, adults with high need of support. Um, August 5th to 9th, um, moderate, adults with moderate need of support. And then back um, August 12th to 16th, adults with little or no support. Um, and here is um, the applications and the links to those. You can um, go down. Now, <clears throat> I'm going back up here. Um, there's a reason why I'm going back up. So I would like to explain OPWDD. Uh, OPWDD uh, is an... Um, is an agency for people with disabilities in New York. And um, if you want to um, get more services now, down here uh, is important for the summer. Um, meeting a person's needs. They have something called day. Let me um, go into this. Uh, day programs. Click here. It says, uh, if a job is not right, a right path for you, but you might need more, want to be more independent and have an active, be an active member of your community, OPWDD offers day rehabilitation uh, services. This can help uh, with camping as well and vocational supports. So, day services. Um, a range of a range of day programs is available for individuals with developmental disabilities. Each is focused with with giving participants uh, personal, social, and vocational support uh, needing to live in the community. Programming varies depending on the individual's needs, or supports, and interests. Um, Community habilitation, this is important. Uh, the service can help you learn the needs and skills and safety uh, more independently um, to meet people, make, uh, make friends, and take part in community events and be part of your community. Community rehabilitation is for people who do not um, is for people who do not live in an OPWDD certified or operated home. Uh, you can have community rehabilitation services at your home or in the community. Supports uh, include adaptive skills development, um, assistance, and activities of daily living. Hands-on um, community inclusion, uh, uh, relationship building, and uh, training for support for uh, independence and travel. Transportation, adult educational supports, development, social skills, leisure skills, self-advocacy, and informed choices and um, appropriate behavior development to help people in their community. So, um, uh, <clears throat> these programs are offered regardless of where you live. 
They take place outside your home, usually at a certified site or um, in the community or even um, the community called Day Hab Without Walls. Now, uh, there's one particular place I'm going to um, look up. and give you the definition of Okay, um, for those that uh, want overnight respite or overnight camp, um, there used to be an organization called United Cerebral Palsy of New York City, but now it's called ADAPT Community Network Overnight Respite Program. Um, for those that need to put their loved one um, overnight or um, possibly a week at most or maybe more. Um, so, and this can be considered camp respite. It is considered um, a time away if, if the caregiver needs help or, or needs assistance or needs rest. Um, organizations, so <clears throat> this, um, this um, is an important resource, ADAPT Community Network Overnight Respite Program, uh, www.adaptcommunitynetwork.com dot org forward slash service options and family support respite r e s p i t e um respite means rest eighteen twenty two Stillwell Avenue I used to go there when I was uh, younger uh, to get rest myself so eighteen twenty two Stillwell Avenue Bronx New York one zero four six nine their number is um, 718-652-9790, uh, that is, uh, 718-652-9790, and they can be reached at info at ucpnewyork.org, um, and it's also called UCP Adapt Community Network. The organization provides children and adults with developmental disabilities temporary overnight respite program. Uh, it could be a couple of days, but probably no more than that. Uh, hours of operation, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All services below are available. Disability services, respite services, English and Spanish are spoken. And they have what they call a Medicaid waiver. So if you need help paying for it and you're on Medicaid, you can get a waiver. Um, services are provided at no cost to families and are funded by the New York State Office of Developmental Disabilities. Additional information. Any child or, or adult in New York City resident with a, with a disability would be eligible for respite care. Individuals with severe behavior problems cannot be accommodated. Any individuals with severe behavior problems cannot be accommodated. Guests may stay at a residence for a minimum of 30 days per year, 30 days only. Three months notice is typical required for reservation. Individuals are asked to call to request an application. And food is provided. Um, applications must be approved by the New York City Borough Office um, and um, operated by United Cerebral Palsy New York City. ADAPT is a non-profit um, agency providing services for developmental disabilities, uh, with, uh, including assistive technology advocacy for, for children uh, of all ages and developmental disabilities. Uh, for more information on the programs and locations, please, vi please visit um, please visit www.newyorks.sorry www. 
ucpnyc.org or call um, call 877-827-2666 or email projectconnect at ucpnyc.org. Um, and that's it. Now, um, if you need um, other services, let me click back there. Um, so let's go, since we're on the topic, we can go to Adapt New York City, which used to be UCP. Adapt Community Network. Okay, this is important for people, services for people with disabilities. Adapt Community Network is the leading human service agency that provides services for people with uh, developmental disabilities um, in all five boroughs. Uh, Project Connect program creates uh, for people with disabilities and their loved ones and, and with support. So um, click here and uh, you can um, get services, family support. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the recreation part because this, this is... Okay. Um, services, <clears throat> we believe that even a wide range of services is too narrow and um, overlooks enjoyment. Um, the ADAPT Community Network encourages friendships, family, fun, engagement, and are uh, always expanding. They even have a disco club, um, uh, you know, which is part of recreation and fun. Club Disco is a popular activity held on Friday evenings each month, starting with dinner, followed by three hours of nonstop music, dancing, and live DJ and door prizes. Um, so, um, you know, that's important. There's spirit recreation. Adapt recreation includes uh, outings and leisure activities, including trips to zoos, museums, and dining out. Cooking and baking, uh, movies and theater as well in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Staten Island, and in the community for teenagers and young adults. Um, there are art programs. Um, they go to galleries and art shows uh, as well. And if you want information on their newsletter, down at the bottom at the page, you can uh, go to their newsletter uh, so on and so forth. If you want information on living um, and other technology, um, you know, uh, they have stories, uh, you know, they have corporate partners, so on and so forth. So for more information on the ADAPT Community Network, you can go to network. <clears throat> Dot org, uh, options, recreation, and technology uh, is the uh, website. So um, this, this information today has been enabled and on air, focusing on um, recreation and people with disabilities camps and people with disabilities part two as well. Um, enabled and on air, as you can see, is an important show to our community and and we're going to be keeping it going for years to come. For more information on Able Den On Air, you can go to www.orchimedia.net. Um, I'm the executive producer along with my wife, Arlene. Um, again, um, this has been the second part of, uh, of Camps and Recreation, Part 2, for Able Den On Air, www.orchimedia.net. And the website for today is uh, adaptcommunitynetwork.org. Um, 
Stay tuned for more Able Den on Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. Thank you to our partners um, <clears throat> at Orca Media, as well as the Division for the Blind Vermont, the Association for the Blind Vermont, and many, many, many others. Stay tuned for more on Able Den on Air in the coming weeks. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Den On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.